check out the new ClickSense Masterclass, which is out right now. A step-by-step -step learning program that's going to help you to get to the next level. It's got rave reviews and people are absolutely loving it. So don't miss out the chance. Enroll yourself now. Hey guys and welcome back. It's been a while, huh? Well, let's get into a super interesting topic today and it's called um, subroutine. So let's build a really simple example of how a subroutine works and well, you can go from there. Um, so what is a subroutine? Well, it's basically just creating your own program inside the script or let's say your own function inside the script. Just like in Python, you can create a function and then call it later on in your in your program, right? So essentially what Click lets you do is you can create your own little program in the beginning and then call it in various steps later on in your script. So that is a subroutine. So let's see how to build one and um, let's get into it. So let's build a super simple one where I just, I'm gonna build a subroutine where every time I enter or I call that particular subroutine and enter a table name, the function looks at that table, looks into what is the number of rows in that particular table and then prints it out for me. So let's look at that. Um, let's start. So how do you start a subroutine? Well, you just write sub, right? And you say, you give the function a name, just like in Python, you give your function a name, right? So over here, the subroutine, you give it a name. So I'm gonna call it row count. And so what goes inside this particular function? Well, that is the name of the table, right? So let's just give it a random name. Great, so this is gonna be the name of my table. And now I'm gonna say, let, now I want a function where it calculates the number of rows in this particular table. So I want a variable which looks into this particular table and calculates the number of rows. So how do you do that? Well, let, let's give it a name, rows is equal to, how does this particular variable get the rows? We have a function called number of rows so i'm going to use that function and what is the number of rows well i want the number of rows of whichever table is entered into this particular function here right so whenever i call my row count whatever is the name of the table here that is the table that i want the number of rows to be counted so essentially this could be in my case it could be sales it could be customer, it could be whatever. And that keeps changing based on when you call your subroutine. So here I'm gonna say number of rows of this table name keeps changing and this is a variable, I'm just gonna expand it. So I'm gonna say, find the number of rows of this particular table, done. Now I want it to print it out. So basically now I have my table name that is over here. And then I have the number of rows which is stored into a variable. Now I want to print it out. How do I do that? Well, I say trace. So you know that click has a function called trace where you are allowed to print stuff out in your script editor. And I actually have a video on it. Check it out. So here what I'm going to say is trace the number of rows in my table name. So the table name is nothing but this one, right? So I'm going to say here dollar number of rows in my table name is, what is it? Well, it is nothing but whatever value is stored in the variable. So I'm going to say, just expand whatever value is in this particular variable. Then I'm just going to say rows. Now I need to end the subroutine and sub. So now you have written your own first subroutine. Pretty cool, huh? So what are we saying here? We're saying, hey, I want a subroutine. So essentially this is a new function. What is the name of my subroutine? It's the name of the subroutine is called row count. What is the value that I'm passing through it? I'm passing through it a name of a table. What is the table name? Well, we don't know because we're gonna call it later on, right? So a temporary name for it is we row table. Now, every time a table is run through this and I call this particular function, what do I want the subroutine to do? It starts running. It says, okay, this is the table name. Then it says, let v rows is a variable is equal to number of rows of 
which table, whichever table has been called here when I call my subroutine. So it runs it. And then the next line is the trace. So it runs the trace. So it says trace number of rows in and I'm attaching the table name to it. And I say is then I want the number of rows. How do I get the number of rows? Well, the number of rows is actually stored in my variable here because I'm in this particular subroutine. I'm running v rows is equal to number of rows of this particular table and then i'm just writing another string called rows so now you have the subroutine great you have a function but it's not really running why because i haven't called it anywhere right so how do you call it i have my table here called sales so let's call it here so let's say call what are you calling well the name of my subroutine so i want every time this table is loaded the next line I'm saying, hey, please call this particular function that I have actually created. And what is the table name that I want to pass through this? Well, I want to pass through sales here. Great. I have a subroutine here. What does the subroutine do? Well, it takes in a name of a table. And for that table, it counts the number of rows, saves that rows here, and then prints it out by using the trace function. And every time you want to run this particular subroutine, you just say call and the name of the routine and the name of the table that you want. So let's see what happens. And now you see that the number of rows in the table name sales is 63,525. Fantastic. Let's just call it again at the end. I have another table here because I'm concatenating more data into this. Then I'm going to join some stuff here. So I'm going to call the same routine again over here and let's see what happens then so now i have the number of rows in this is 63000 and after a while i have the same thing again and now it says the number of rows in sales is 156385 rows so using the subroutine i can easily calculate and see hey how many rows have i added from this table how many rows have i actually added from this particular table how many rows have i added in the next table so it's super easy to keep well, keep an account of things that are actually happening. So this is a super, super simple example of using a subroutine. Um, write down below if you want me to write you know, a couple of other ones. Um, I think it'll be really nice and really interesting and a good practice for me as well. I'm no expert. I'm still learning, just like you guys. Um, I'm trying to teach um, everything that I learn and I kind of find interesting. So um, this is how you build a subroutine. If you know Python, it should be super easy because it's pretty much the same as writing a writing a function in Python. Um, so um, yeah, check out the link below. I have a super interesting course that a lot of students have really, really liked and um, helps support the channel. Yeah, it's all great. Check out the link below and please like, subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.